What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Realms of Metal. Eddie here, back with you from my happy place, my metal room here in the woods in PA, the happiest place on earth. It has been a long ass work week. And when I say long ass work week, that's an understatement. It was a stressful work week. I'm just, my mind is fried. My brain is fried. I'm ready to just chill and listen to some records and watch some horror movies. And I've been meaning to do a couple videos during the week. I had some unboxings to do when I just, I got home. I was just shot, man. You know, I, I go, I come home, I eat, I get cleaned up and I'm like in bed by like eight o'clock. Uh, it's just been a fucking stressful work week. So I'm glad it's over. And uh, here I am. So I got a bunch of unboxings to do. Like I said, I was going to do a couple during the week, but these kind of like have culminated during the week. So I got some really cool stuff. We're representing Morton Red tonight, man. This is his new shirt. Go on his band camp, grab a shirt. I love the yellow logo. I love the whole yellow aesthetic of this shirt against the black. It looks really cool, man. Thank you, Morton Red, for that. You're the man. Um, I got a, I got something from Barry at Daco Metal Show, ready to. I got it right here. Barry, thank you. I got something from Ross Skull Records from the Netherlands. I got an order from Hell's Headbangers. There's an order from Rat Town Records. So it's a bunch of shit. And like a mixed bag of stuff too, which is really cool. So uh, let's get at it, man, right? So got the shirt, obviously, Mordant Red. Thank you very much for that. I got this today from, from Barry at That Gold Metal Show, my man. And uh, I haven't even opened it yet. I just got it out of the mailbox a little while ago. Let's see what we got. Oh, shit. This is Go to Menta shirt. Look at that. That's his album cover. Back of the shirt. Band photo. Killer, man. Thank you so much, Barry. I can't wait to get my hands on the CD. When you get those CDs, man, send them on my way. I send one my way. I'm really looking forward to uh to checking that out, man. Thank you very much, Barry. So go support Barry. Subscribe to that goat metal show YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it below along with more than red here. So hails to you, Barry. So I got an order from Ross Skull Records in the Netherlands. And the reason I placed this order was because I was looking for the second full length from Infidel Reich. That's Vincent Crowley's bands, one of his bands. And uh, the only place I could find his second full length was Ross Skull Records in the Netherlands. You know, so thanks to Ross Skull for having the balls to put something like this out. Uh, and here it is. It's not on vinyl, man. You know what? You, know, you guys know I collect vinyl. I only buy CDs when I can't get the vinyl, and in this case, you can't, at least not yet. So here it is, New World Outrage. Um, this came out in, what, 2021? So Infidel Reich had an EP in uh, 2017, Infidel Reich self-titled. 2019, they had the first full-length, Reichenstein. And this is 2021, New World Outrage. I listened to it last night, and... I fucking love this record, man. It speaks to me. It's like, uh, it's everything I've been feeling, like culminated into one record. Like that, that's how I feel like tracks, like working class revolt. It's a track about how we're fucking overworked and underpaid and, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, it's saying how I feel. I really like that. Like it's the songs hit you hard. It's less than a half hour long, the record. The songs are just brutal, hit you hard. Lyrically, they speak to me. Really, really killer stuff, man. Check this out. If you can get your hands on it, like I said, I found it in the Netherlands. And it took like, you know, almost a month to get here. But uh, I finally got it, and I'm loving every second of this record. So check it out. Infidel Reich. Uh, while I was on Raw Skull Records, I'm like, yeah, you know, let's see what they got for vinyls. And uh, of course... You know, I bought a couple vinyls, and uh, let's see what we got. This is the box from Roscoe. So here's a band called Skull Crush. My lighting is all fucked up here. Skull Crush, it's called Archaic Towers of Annihilation. 
Uh, this is their first full length from 2019 on Raw Skull Records. Death Metal from Phoenix, Arizona. It's got got like an old school kind of Swedish vibe to it, like Dismember and Tomb kind of stuff. Uh, they also had an EP in 2018, Visions of the Firestorm Eclipse. Uh, look at this. I love the artwork on that. Look at the artwork. Sick as fuck, right? And on this one, it was uh, 150 black. And uh, this is, you know, this is one of the black ones that I got. So really killer. I have not listened to the vinyl yet, but I did uh, YouTube it and uh, I liked what I heard. So I, I bought it, man, for, you know, 15 bucks. Couldn't beat it. Couldn't pass it up. Skull Crush. Here's one called Graceless. Now, I have heard of Graceless. It's kind of death doom metal. They're from Holland, you know, the Netherlands. Really similar to Asphyx, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is their third full length. Came out in 2022 on Roskull Records. Uh, this band formed in 2016. They got three full lengths. And this is uh, Electric Blue Oxblood Red Cornetto. And uh, it's limited to 100 copies. I grabbed one. The vinyls on... Uh, Ross Skull's website weren't expensive at all. They were like, you know, 15 to $20, I think. So I kind of went a little haywire, which I kind of tend to do, but uh, totally worth it. Look at this vinyl, man. It's sick. Sick as fuck. Looks like one of those slushies you get, you know, from the fucking ice cream man. You know, pretty cool. So, yeah, if you like, if you like a fix, you know, this is going to be right up your alley. I've heard some graceless stuff already, and uh, this is the only vinyl that I have from them, at least so far. So uh, I'm going to be looking out for the rest of them, but uh, graceless, man. Check them out. What we got next? Here's a band called Mastication. Now, Mastication is from, let me grab my note here. This is called Assassinating Materials. It's a compilation. Um, they're not together anymore. They are a death metal band from Stockholm, Sweden, originally formed in 1990. They split up like a year later, you know, no, no joke. Uh, if you like grave, it's kind of like in the vein of grave, that kind of stuff. And, uh, this is a compilation of all their recordings, which there weren't much, you know, they had a 1991 demo called mastication. They had a 1991 demo called demo number two. And they had a split that came out in like 2010, you know, with uh, re-release stuff. This is the compilation of all those. I mean, there's only seven tracks on here. And one of them is an intro and one of them is an outro. So there's really only five tracks on here. But I dug it a lot. And uh, I picked it up. I forget what the color of this vinyl was. But uh, I think it's transparent, like smoky gray. I know you probably have a hard time seeing that. But... Uh, there you go. But pretty awesome. So mastication. And I did grab one more. Now I remember like I had this CD a while ago and I don't know what the hell happened to it. I either sold it or traded it. I don't know what the fuck happened. But it's a band called Burial. And this was their demo called Frigid Cold. OK, it was originally released in 1992, death metal from the Netherlands. They had one full length in 1993 called Relinquish Souls. And I was like, you know, you guys know I love Massacre from Beyond. Right. And I keep saying there's not much stuff that sounds like Massacre from Beyond. That record from 1993, Relinquish Souls, sounds like Massacre, like Cam Lee, Rick Roz, it has that massacre vibe to it. And I forgot all about it until I saw this vinyl on the website. I'm like, damn, I remember that band from somewhere. So uh, I picked up this demo. I'm going to keep my eye out for uh, Relinquished Souls because I definitely want to grab that if I can find a copy on vinyl. It's, it's, I know it's tough to get. I already tried looking for it. It's the closest thing from From Beyond you'll ever hear. You know, So uh, I love From Beyond and I'm going to try and grab uh, Relinquished Souls, but this one is uh, limited to 150, and I think it's silver. And there was also 150 red black, but I think I believe this is the silver one. Yeah, 
So 150 crest. So burial from the Netherlands. That's it for that box. Sorry, buddy. What do we got next? This one I picked up from Hell's Head Bangers. I was looking for it at a decent price. And, you know, it's pretty much the same as it's always been. But uh, I wanted to grab it because, you know, I'm a vinyl fiend now. And, uh, you know, I'm a huge Slayer fan like a lot like a lot of people were. So I saw this on Hell's Head Bangers and I, I had to grab it. This was the Slayer Repentless 7-inch box set. You know, they just had it on the site, you know, probably a week or so ago. And I'm like, I'm, you know what? I'm going to get that fucking thing. So... Slayer Repentless box set. Um, Repentless came out in 2015 on Nuclear Blast. Now, this is the... F I have the vinyl. I also have the CD. Uh, I got this strictly for collector purposes because I thought it was cool as fuck. You know, it's the whole album on a bunch of seven inches. And uh, there's six black seven inches in here. And they're, they're actually not seven inches. They're 6.66 inches. So, like, I haven't opened it yet, but uh, I'm going to open it right now for you guys. Uh, the only record with Gary Holt from Exodus on guitar. Uh, I thought this was a decent record. I, you know, I got to be honest with you. I mean, I, I didn't love it, but uh, you know, I thought it was solid. I thought there were some good tracks on here. You know, Repentless is good. Uh, when the Stillness Comes is decent. Uh, Piano Wire, I really dig. Piano Wire has like that South of Heaven vibe to it, and I think. That was an old Hendeman riff that they used for that. Uh, Atrocity Vendor is really killer. You Against You. So, uh, you know, solid record. Believe it or not, like, if you look at the Metal Archives, this is rated lower than Diabolos and Musica, if you can believe that. Like, I'm looking at it. I can't fucking believe it. People like Diabolos and Musica better than this. You know, this is right now at a 50% on Archives, which, you know, I don't hate it. It's not a bad record. But uh, let's check it out and see what we got here. Here's the hype sticker. You can read that. There we go. Just kind of the card in the front. It says, cool, here's a book with all the lyrics. Tom Araya, one of my metal heroes. I fucking love... Have I expressed how much I love Tom Araya? I mean, seriously. I mean, story time at the Realms of Metal again. My idol, Gary Holt. Here he is. Paul Bostoff. I actually met Gary and Paul when they were both in Exodus, when Paul Bostoff was in Exodus, touring for... Uh, Show ahead to kill machine, really cool. Where the fuck's Carrie King? Did I miss him? I did. There he is, man. Carrie King. Looking forward to his new stuff. Uh, I know he's got a band together. I think Bostoff is going to be on drums, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know who's going to be on vocals or on bass. I guess uh, we'll we'll find out soon enough. Here's all the seven inches, and these are these are black. I think they did come in different colors when they first came out, but uh, you know this version is all black. So there you have it. Really cool collectible, I think. And uh, I wish Slayer, you know, did not call it quits, but uh, I think that really was kind of up to Tom because you know. No Tom, no Slayer in my book, you know. I mean, it, and that guy, you can't have Slayer without Tom Araya, you know, so. Repentless. What else we got? This is just one I picked up random. Uh, this came out last year, and it was on a lot of people's top uh, metal lists, and I just missed it. I mean, I know of this band. I just never picked the record up, and it's solid as fuck. This is the new Crucimentum that came out. 
their second full length on Profound Lore Records. Uh, it's death metal, you know, in the vein of like Incantation or Dizma, except it's probably the mix is probably a little cleaner than those bands, you know. But the, it's if you like Incantation and stuff like that, you know, this is going to be right up your alley. Uh, they're an international band. They're based out of the States and UK. And there's only six tracks on here, but the clock's in at about 41 minutes. Really solid slab of fucking death metal. I listened to it today. And uh, this is just standard black. It's a gatefold. So. Push them them. What else we got here? So I did uh, give another order to Rat Town Records. I did an unboxing a week or two ago on an order I got from Rat Town. That is my new favorite site, man. I, I go on there and I'm like licking my chops. What am I going to order? What am I going to order? And uh, this was the third order I gave them. And uh, I got some great stuff on here, man. So uh, actually, this record's on my turntable right now. That's why it's a little wobbly. The Boneless Ones. This I've been listening to this record all fucking week. It's crossover thrash. They were from Berkeley, California. It's their first full length. It's called Skate for the Devil. And uh, original release in 1986 on Boner Records, which is was a label out of California. Um, this is the reissue remastered version on Beer City Records. It's the black version. And uh, not then, but now, in this band now, is Craig Losacero from uh, Forbidden. And uh, Chris Contos, who's also in Forbidden now, you know, he was in Machine Head and Testament and Attitude Adjustment and all those bands. I fucking love this record, man. I love it. I love it so much that I ordered the second one from Rat Town. Uh, it's called Back to the Grind. So I, I put that order in like a couple days ago. So I'm looking forward to it. But this has not left my turntable. I love it so much. So if you're not familiar with the boneless ones, grab this, man. Go, I'm going to link Rat Town's website on here again. Go on their website. Uh, so much fun. A lot of great stuff. Now, I, you know, I'm a metalhead, but I also dabble in a lot of, you know, hardcore and punk and stuff like that. And I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore punk aficionado. So I go on his website and there's dozens of bands that I've never even heard of, you know. So, like, I'll look at an album cover that looks intriguing and I'll just YouTube it. And like I'm getting turned on to so much stuff that I've never even heard of before. It's fucking so cool. I feel like I'm a kid again, you know. So uh, the boneless ones, highly recommend them, man. Grab this. You're, you're not going to be disappointed. Crossover thrash. What else we got here? Uh, I picked this up. I, I had the CD when I was a kid, but I never had the vinyl. So I had to get it. This is Dag Nasty. Um, can I say... It was their first full length on Discord Records. This is a 2021 reissue of that on Translucent Green. You know, it's some call it hardcore punk. I have a problem calling it hardcore. You know, to me, it's more like a straightforward punk band. Some people call it like emo, you know, because it's it's very melodic and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I, I guess you can call them hardcore, but, you know, I just call them punk. You know, I wouldn't call them punk rock like the Ramones, but, you know, punk, straight up punk. Uh Super fun, catchy songs, um, uh, formed by Brian Baker of uh, Minor Threat, you know, so really killer album. And I'll show you, this is a nice one, Translucent Green. Don't jump up here. There we go. Dag Nasty. Now you can jump up if you want. I got my cat. He's looking to jump up on my stool here, and he's going to jump on the records, which he's done before. So here's the last one. Uh, another record I had, you know, when I was younger. I wanted to grab the vinyl. I saw it on the site. I'm like, damn, I got to grab that. This is The Descendants. Uh, this is their sixth full length on Fat Records. Punk Rock from Manhattan Beach, California. The Descendants, when I looked them up, I didn't realize how old that band was. I mean, they formed in like 1977. Like, I, that blew my mind when I saw that. Uh, super fun band. Um, great record. Cool to be you, the sixth full length. And uh, this is just a, a repress from 2014, I think it was. So, 
Uh, I have the digital copy of this as well, but it also came with a download card. And uh, I'm going to give that to somebody. Somebody will, if anybody wants a free download of this, I will shoot you a copy. I'll text you a picture of it or email you a picture. Let me know if you want it, you know, and I'll pick you and I'll send you a copy of it so you can download it, put it on your MP3, your computer, or whoever you listen to your music digitally. So that said, you know, that's the haul, at least for now. So uh, thanks for hanging with me on the Realms of Metal. i uh, got some killer stuff in the works here. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to chill and watch some horror movies and uh, and have some fun. So have a good rest of your Friday. We'll see you guys again real soon. Have a good one.